Tonight's uh, Super Bowl was a big win for the Kansas City Chiefs and for advertisers. Let's find out which ads got the most uh, viewer engagement online. Joining us now is Kevin Krim, EDO president and CEO. Um, did they, I mean, Taylor, thank you. Thank you, God, um, for, for Taylor and Travis. The right? NFL would like to thank Taylor Swift. I saw pictures of Roger Goodell talking to her saying, let's talk about next year yeah. and, and uh, the terms of your deal uh, yeah, exactly. for next year. It's going to be... Did, did advertisers know it was going to be the biggest, probably the biggest event in TV history? But, but for seven million, uh, thirty we'll, seconds a month. We'll we'll see the numbers when they finally come out from Nielsen. But um, I think a smart advertiser, seeing how the season started, um, they were able to make make the bet that this Super Bowl was going to be a great one. Um, obviously, they got an extra bonus when. Uh, the Chiefs got into the game, and, and t therefore we knew Taylor Swift would be well, they there. Won last year too, yeah. And, the, yeah. and, and everybody won the 49. It was like it, it was a perfect storm. It, it was, was and it was a great game. Um, that matters uh, to keep to keep the audience engaged through the whole game is is good for business. Um, what we see uh, at EDO when we see uh, how consumers engage with both the programming and the ads, um, a tight game like that will keep. Uh, an audience there, and we'll keep them engaged with the ad breaks as well. So um, it was a win-win for everyone. Okay. So tell us what, what, what you thought were the, the highlights. With well, the we saw, movie. not surprising, we saw big new movies, big blockbuster movies perform well in this data. Um, our top performing ad was Deadpool 3 um, uh, that was advertised. Uh, we also saw The, the Wicked the film version of Wicked uh, that's going to not come out until Thanksgiving. And by, that by the popped. Way, engagement just being somebody looks it up on the internet. Though. Somebody goes and either searches finds or goes to a website, finds more information. But is, that, is it based on the kind of thing it is? Like, I want to go see that movie. If I saw that Duncan ad, which I thought was awesome, but right, I don't I'm know if I'm rushing Duncan. to the Duncan website in that moment because there's nothing to do. There's a Except near to know I, next time I see Duncan, maybe I'll feel better about it. What or brand marketers are always trying to do is drive that consideration, first awareness, and the Super Bowl is the best place to drive awareness in any, in any media option that they have in the 21st century. Um, they're also trying to drive consideration and intent. And what you get from uh, a great Super Bowl creative is all three right. of those things. I mean, because Duncan buys cachet, right? Right. They buy cachet with this. And, and, and Duncan was on our top five, five, but it was in our top 20. Um, very strong ad. There's an element of nostalgia in a lot right. of these top performing spots. I got one spots. that I can't figure out. So I love Apple, as you know. Yes. But I, and they sponsor the halftime show. Yep. And yet, you om even though it says Apple on it, <coughs> you almost don't know it's, it's Apple. At the end, they put up the QR code that said, get your three, you know, three months free, I think, or something right. like that. Did that work? Does there, that work? Did there was that? also a strong logo in the bottom right corner that yep. kept shimmering and yep, vibrating with the music. Um, they've had a signature kind of red theme to yep. uh, last year's halftime show and this year's halftime show. But is that um, working for them? Are they, are they, when, when they look a month later, they're saying, oh my goodness, we got a huge uptick in folks using this over Spotify or, or signing we're up? We're only two years into this, but when we studied it for PepsiCo, um, for the last however many years that they had the halftime show prior to Apple, um, we saw that it paid off economically. It was a strong um, economic What's trade relative to. Um, it was reported it was in that 50 million sort of range. Um, okay. And what we found is that if you create sort of a, uh, if you equalize for what it would cost to buy that equivalent amount of ads, right. um, that that halftime sponsor is getting more than 50 million in value. Okay. Um, in terms of that consumer them, engagement, man. those predictive behaviors that are right. Uh, I, I just thought sales. it was interesting because they did have the QR code, and we saw very few QR codes this time. We did, we did. We saw um, nostalgia. We saw AI themes, um, some AI, actual AI products from Google right. and Microsoft. Uh, we saw um, more soda, less beer and liquor, um, and uh, we saw the foreign automakers right. step in for the domestic. What about what about what's the moisturizer? Cerave. Cerave. So right, that's going to be. I mean, if Sarah. I go to CBS, can I now? Is it going to? They going to sell out? I mean, what's going to happen here? Uh, you know, we we I like that ad very much. Uh, it was only an average performer in our data um, in terms of what it drove. Yeah. I, I don't know if Michael Sarah had enough name recognition yeah. for that large of an audience well, super to, bad to fans drive it. And, yeah, right. yeah. Which I still watch if I can see it. I don't. I don't 
probably never get old. What and else? And Temu was a Pit, was an what, interesting one. Three, but they, that they, was weird. There were three or four. Six, six ads in six. total between pre -game, from pregame all the way through That's to postgame. Very expensive investment. They were a first time advertiser last year. They performed again well in our data this year and in last year. Yeah, but that's because people are like, what the heck is Timu? Right. And 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 this year they pronounced it in the ad and a lot of people were surprised that we've I've been saying Timu. Like yeah, you had, it, it's Temu yeah. according to the ads that we saw last night. Um, didn't well, we spend all that money and it still didn't rub off on me. It, what's interesting is it engages people, it's what what is it? But it was the mo one of the most downloaded apps um, all of last year according to Apple and to Google in their, in their various app stores. So um, that's one of those examples where the advertising can be effective even if we're not sitting there reviewing it at home as one of our favorite ads. But that's the only thing about it. Still going back to the brand engagement and how you yeah. measure it. Yeah. I, I mean, it, it, different brands are looking for different things. If you're an unknown, you're going to get searched the most. Yep. Like Poppy. Did you see that? Uh -uh. Yeah. PPI. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. It's, a, it's, it's a soda. soda. You said it's that, a, was a, that was good. good. I'm not... I'm not convinced five years from now no one's going to... No Poppy? Well, I don't know. If you're Poppy, Poppy's an independent soda company founded by a husband and wife uh, a, a pair in, in Austin, Texas. Yep. Um, it's $2 a can of that soda. <laughs> the margins on that are going to be incredible. If you've got now 120 million or more people thinking I, I should try a Poppy and see what it's like, that's going to be a good ROI. I think I've tried a Poppy. They're good. I don't remember. Feels like mainstreaming kombucha, I think. <laughs> that was my takeaway. I saw five grams of, of car. I mean, there is sugar. There's a little bit of sugar. A little bit of uh, sugar. Busy. There's probiotics, which that's yep. the. It's a big probiotics. Oh, I could use those. We could use okay. some of those. <laughs> Especially the morning after the, the morning after just the Super Bowl general. snacks. Yeah. Just in general. Yeah. You no, know, just in. I, I don't know. I think I could. I don't know if it would work. I need something. Kevin, nothing like the Super Bowl, though. Is there anything Great else? Game. That many, uh, we've got 15 seconds. I mean, Other we've got the, we've got the Summer Olympics coming. Okay. I mean, that is another yeah. truly good. mainstream event. It's not all at once. It's Very spread good. out over Thanks three weeks. Thanks for mentioning that. Yes. Paris Olympics. On the NBC, NBC stations. stations. There you go. Including the streaming. Yep. Right. Property Peacock.